I got a lot of respect for Kevin Durant. I keep religiously saying he's one of the top two, three play, top two or three players on the planet. Mm -hmm. This dude is on another level. Uh, but it's about just standing up and accepting accountability for what you did in terms of how you departed. You know, it, it, what Kevin Durant reminds me of LeBron James in this sense. LeBron James departs from Cleveland to take his talents to South Beach. And they had the quote unquote decision. Didn't reach out to Dan Gilbert, didn't talk to him, didn't show him the respect as a boss. I'm trying, I'm, I've decided to move on, et cetera, et cetera. And it took LeBron James at least a year before he could stand up and acknowledge, I could have handled it differently. That's what we're talking about here. See, Kevin Durant goes to another stratosphere. I mean, because he acts like everybody thinks that you're a bad guy, you're no good, you're a scum of the earth or whatever. Nobody's thinking about that about Kevin Durant. If you know anything about Kevin Durant, I don't care what attitude he has with me or anybody else in or outside the media, Kevin Durant is a good guy. Kevin Durant is a superstar player. Kevin Durant cares about his community and is very charitable with his time, his energy, and his effort. It's not about that. What we're saying is, is that Russell Westbrook, a guy that you embraced as your little brother, deserved better than, when you, than what you gave him when you decided to depart. Russell Westbrook, you don't sit up there and leave him and don't call him, don't see him face to face, assuming it's true. Maybe somebody was lying. But according to Russell Westbrook, he found out Kevin Durant was leaving like the rest of us. Remember when he said during this press conference in Oklahoma City? Don't tell me that Russell Westbrook deserved that. Russell Westbrook is a guy that you you went off about Mark Cuban, talk, called Mark Cuban an idiot because he said something questioning whether or not uh, 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 Russell Westbrook was the player we all thought him to be. This is last year when they were teammates with one another. You went off on the media because they were asking you questions about Russell Westbrook. Time and time again, because certainly nobody bothered Kevin Durant. Think about Kevin Durant, and I ask you to consider this, Max Kellerman. Do you know of any star player who's had the honeymoon? that he has had throughout his career, up before he went to Golden State. Who the hell ever said a negative word about Kevin Durant? Sure. No one ever bothered him. In the end, all of this comes down to, Max, is that was supposed to be your little brother. You left him high and dry and didn't even say goodbye, and now you want to act like other folks are making it up. They're not making it up. So let me ask up. you this. Kevin Durant did this. If we see this largely uh, in similar ways, but not entirely. I don't think... He's trying to get himself off the hook in terms of public perception. If that happens, I'm sure he wouldn't be upset about it. But I think this is he's mm. internalized this. I think he's trying to reconcile two things here, Kevin Durant. His own behavior on the one hand mm -hmm. with his desire to be a good person on the other. Not to simply be perceived as a good person, but to be a good person by all accounts. Kevin Durant's a good dude, right? I mean, you continually talk about he's a good dude. Yes. So he did Westbrook dirty. He has to know that on some level. And he's trying to reconcile that fact, did him dirty, that's his own behavior, he's responsible for it, with his, his desire to be a good person. Until he publicly owns the idea that he did Westbrook dirty, it doesn't make him a bad person. It means he messed up like everyone does at different points in their life. He will find himself in this position of, of, of kind of awkwardly trying to explain that really there's nothing bad between him and Westbrook. He really wanted to talk to him, but the media yes. was there. Everyone knows what it is. People are pointing to this former players, people in the media, as a weakness of character. Time out. That's how it's being characterized. Time out, time out. Not I'm a compliment. Doing, I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many others have done that, but I'm doing that because I believe, and I will stay. I will to the death. I don't give a damn how many titles he wins in Golden State. I will always remember that you were up three-one in a conference championship, swearing and hugging a dude that you called your little brother, talking about how we gonna come back and get him. And three weeks later, are you decided to join the very team the that knocked you out. The, I will never forget that. Are the old now, that's me. Hold on. Are That's the me. Old -timing, are the old-time players, yes or no, characterizing Kevin Durant's decision as weakness? They are. They yes. consistently are. But let me say this to you. Is it? Yes, you could argue that. The, I mean, well, I'm asking you a question. Don't tell me what we can argue. We can argue yes, about roaches. I, believe... I mean, do, do you believe mm -hmm. it was a weakness on his part to, to be as great as he is on a championship contender and to join the team that beat you? No, in a I conference championship. No, I wouldn't say it seven. was weakness, actually. I would say it's an acknowledgement 
that he's not good enough to beat LeBron James without a whole lot of help. You trying to tell me that Kevin Durant thinking he can't beat LeBron is not a weakness? Not a weakness. It's an acknowledgement of reality. LeBron's better than him. But excuse me. I'm sorry. Better in what way? No, he's, he's a better a, passer. Not, not, about, he's about, a better about, defender about, when he wants to Not be. in every way. There's he's like, a better leader. The greatest players in the world had something about them that they weren't better at against somebody else. Right. That doesn't mean that you're an inferior player. Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant is not an inferior player to LeBron. Yes, His he is. strengths are different than LeBron. No, he's LeBron inferior can't shoot. To LeBron. LeBron can't shoot like him. LeBron is LeBron better can, than Kevin Durant. Le, LeBron cannot shoot like no, him. No, that's true. He's a better shooter time than LeBron. LeBron's a better time basketball time player. Time Kevin Durant is he one of the guys better carpenter time than time LeBron time too, but he's not as good a basketball excuse player. Excuse me. In terms of completion, but the things that he does great make up for it. When you look at LeBron James and you look at Kevin Durant, yes. you go definitively say, yes. "Excuse me, yes. I got to have Kevin Durant because there's such a drop LeBron off from James. number one to number two." Yes, LeBron James. No, is that every day? Come on, is that significant of a drop off to you? Yes. You don't know basketball. Oh. I'm calling. I'm calling you out. Is that significant this. of a drop off? Kevin Durant to, to, to LeBron James. LeBron James. I'm, I'm sorry, if it's if you hear like this, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and Serge Ibaka, and James Harden, and later Stephen Adams, these guys, he. He would get if out I, of the West Conference. Gave, if I gave LeBron James those things, I would still have to be concerned about him shooting free throws. I would still have to be concerned about him making perimeter shots. When you I'm looking at Kevin Durant. Durant. I'm not saying, no, no. I'm giving LeBron Answer an edge question. because he's a when champion. You Kevin, Kevin Durant, Durant is not. What do you, as you say, religiously describe him as? One of the best how many players in the world? Two to three. Two to three. Right. When you talk about LeBron James, because he's a champion. Him. Because he's I a champion. I rest my case.